So, I fished in Ireland quite a few years ago now, but I know, Lou, you've never this is the before. first time you've been out there. First time on my bucket list ever since a child watching John Wilson and Matt Hayes out there. So, yeah, it was one of them bucket list things that we finally managed to get to achieve. So I think it's one of them places you hear a lot about and generally you hear about the weather. <laughs> That's usually yeah. what people talk about when they talk about fishing in Ireland. Um, in terms of expectations, I knew, I'd knew i obviously seen some YouTube footage and some photos, knew it was going to be really big venues and really scenic venues. Um, and yeah, I was just hoping it was going to be a memorable trip. I knew it was going to be tough with a couple, only a two days fishing, but you just hope that mm. everything plays in your favour, don't you? Well, first impressions, mate, what are you thinking? It looks absolutely stunning. We couldn't have really had a nicer morning. I don't know whether it's going to be the best for fishing, but it's going to whip up a little bit later, so... Yeah, it's a bit brighter than perhaps you'd want, but it's, it looks stunning and I can't wait to get going. No, me neither. We had the typical Irish weather on a route down yesterday, but obviously we've been treated to a much better morning, but as I say, later it's probably going to whip up, get a bit windier, we're going to get a good chop on the water. It's looking really good for a nice day's pike fishing, but proof's in the pudding, as they say. Yep, JP's just finishing uh, the last final checks before the boat's launched, and uh, we can get cracking. get every rain, every every rain. When I mean every rain in Ireland, when it's heavy, it's heavy, okay? So the water level rise about 40 centimeters. Put a lot, a lot of water, a lot of food also in this lake, okay? So we need to check the end of uh, the estuary. Okay, it's clear water now, and uh, there's a lot of roach and perch uh, over there. So I think the pike uh, will be over there also. also. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's the plan for this morning, yeah. okay? Sounds so like we will uh, fish with a shallow rig, okay, pro shad, 23 centimeters. Of course, I'll some slider, floating, sinking, I'll okay, start perfect. With, I'll start with a replicant perch. <laughs> Fire tiger. <laughs> Fire tiger. Uh, okay. Realistic perch. I am, anyway. It's the only thing you need, mate. You are? The only thing you need. All you need. So we will drift like that, but if you can cast more forward, right, okay, got you. Need more space to the wrist in the yeah. and I will cast backward. Okay. Yeah, got you. I'm confident I've had a hit already, JP. You have a hit? Yeah, 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 yeah. On the second cast, there was definitely something. It was a very subtle, it just hit it. One meter twenty three, this one. Up, up, up. Come on, Pikeys, where are ya? Alright, let's go. So it's time for the first fish, Matt. Okay? S sorry? It's time for the first. Yeah? Is it this cast, is it? Yeah. 
They're gonna come. Feels too good. Right. Don't worry, Matt, it's coming. Where was the river, JP? Oh, over there, yeah. Right. To the Pike Gods of Ireland, I salute you. Cheers. A lot of weed there. It's a good flash, that, Sam. That's boiling hot still, that. Beautiful. Excuse to have a cup of tea as well. Leave that there, I think. We don't want to be digging around for it for a minute. The amount of salad you've put on the boat. Yeah, I'm not the cleanest. Little cup of tea and then I'll watch you want to use land one. Ready for the world ahead. Tastes a lot nicer out of that flask as well. It's my new flask, that one. <laughs> Shout out to Stanley. <laughs> Hashtag. This, the colours on this is nice in this water. This colour of water, though, the like the grey colour reflects nicely with the. Oh, I got a little bit of weed that time. Didn't even feel it. Need to get a bit of blue dye in here. Stop that weed. Moments like this, I think, what would Trev Gunning do? What would he do I to, really don't know. to get that first bite of the day? Hopefully we've just hit a concentration of pikes, we should both get a bite from there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's desperate to go trolling. <laughs> you will, don't worry. <laughs> We will do trolling and everything. What? Well, another rod for this small lure or not? No. Another setup for, no. the, for the small lure? No, it's fine. It's fine? Yeah. What Lou really wants to do is put his rod in that holder, <laughs> get his flask out, <laughs> yeah. and have a brew. <laughs> what I really want to do oh, is in. cast some floats out with some ba dead baits <laughs> on and go to sleep. <laughs> Mate, you've had more than 15 casts, you're still with us. I'm keeping up with you both at the yeah, minute, fish are, for fish. Yep. I'm just waiting. Once we find out what lure's working, then we can all switch and jump on the bandwagon. It's just a bit weedy. It's good. That's where they live. Yeah, but not when the whole f 2,000 hectares is weed. <laughs> <laughs> for the first time in a long, long time, I was really, really excited leading up to the trip. Even though I didn't have lots of gear to sort out because the uh, JP was supplying most of it and Matt was also supplying a few bits and pieces. Um, for the f for two or three days prior to the trip, I, I was thinking about it constantly and I can even, I, even the night before I actually text Matt saying I've not been this excited about a, a fishing trip for a long time. I, I was really buzzing for it. Yeah, it woke me up. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I was the same. So, an unproductive start on the first area that we've drifted. So, JP's now moved us up the other end of this particular lock to a, a different zone. It's slightly deeper, probably about nearly one metre deeper. And interestingly, the water temperature's over a degree warmer here as well. So, it will be uh, yeah, interesting to see if, uh, if the fish, the bait fish, and the predators are holding up in this zone. As Matt alluded to, uh, the, the first day we didn't actually go on mask, we went to a different lock, um, much smaller than mask, but still far bigger than anywhere I've ever fished in, in England before. It was still a huge expanse of water, um, 
and yeah, the plan to to be get a few bites, not real big fish, and uh, just feel our way in, and then second day we'd be going for the real the real big fish. Um, it wasn't so much for water as well, though. It was for scenery. Yeah, yeah. Like, absolutely stunning. Like where we are, mole hills are kind of hills, and um, especially me down in the Cambridge fence, it's very very flat, and you're looking around you where we were lovely great hills hills with names they're so big it was stunning scenery i do remember though thinking when we were setting getting the boat launched and everything on that first day it was flat calm it was really sunny and as we went out on the water it, it was clear quite quickly that the water was shallow mm. and uh I, I i i worried for our success quite early on when those conditions in, Although I've never fished in Ireland before, shallow water, shallow clear water with bright mm. bright skies and not a lot of wind. Um, so yeah, I was I was a, whilst I was excited because obviously we're filming and stuff. I was starting to worry quite quickly that it wasn't going to go as we would love. It certainly wasn't the Irish weather we were expecting. No. and I think that three hour journey we made from Dublin over to Mask, it rained pretty much the whole time, didn't it? And yeah. just as we got near Mask blue skies and then that kind of stayed with us for yeah, a bit the of high next 24 pressure, hours high air pressure and um, I remember the night when we went out for the, the meal with JP the night before say there was a full moon yeah and it was huge lighting up yeah. mask and yeah. I said to him is that is that good for us having the, having the high pressure and the big full moon and he went not good with the bright conditions tonight the pike will feed tonight in mm. the night time so they won't be so hungry tomorrow when we fish and to be fair, that's how it sort of uh, yeah. sort of played out, didn't it? No, it was a very slow day. It was a very comfortable day. We got to see the scenery in great conditions and it made it a bit easier for Sam doing the filming. But we, I think we all knew we were kind of waiting for dusk for an opportunity, for low, wait for them light levels to drop and hopefully a few bites might come at that point. Is that on slider? On slider, yes, we're there though. Nice. Well done, JP. Well done. Good fish? Oh, yeah. That's okay. That'll do. Was it? Was definitely feeding it. Yep. Yeah. He's hiding into the weeds. He's got plenty of that to hide into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. It's a decent one. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah, good. I bring the weeds and the fish, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Well, well done, Woo. JP. Well done, high mate. Yes, well done, high JP. High well done. High five. Nice. Yes. The first one's always the hardest. First one. Never give up. No, the next one will come very quick yes. now. Yeah, where was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> you take that, JP. <laughs> you, you sort the fish out. <laughs> While well, we've found some. I was just putting a slider on. We've worked hard, you've worked hard to find them fish. Now it's a case of catching them all. Very lean fish this one compared to the first one that JP had from this area. A lot of cast today. Oh, my body. <laughs> <laughs> hey mate. Hi. 
Yeah, that's that's definitely yours. I've got a few over here, which are yours. One second. We sort it out later, can't we? We're using we're using them tomorrow. Yeah. So the first day, mate. How would you summarise it? Well. I say sadly, as I'd feared early on, it, it did turn out to be tricky with that mm. sh shallow water. I don't think for a long part of the day we didn't get above two or three metres of water and then we finally went to a, uh, an area that I think was nine or ten metres, but even then the fishing was still was still really slow. That weather, the shallow water and the, the sun and not so much wind did slow the fishing down and obviously JP's prediction that they might have had a good feed the night before and um, you know we covered miles and miles of ground for very little reward i think jp yeah. dro had one drop hit that was on and off in in a split second that was uh, probably the only action of the first light of the morning of the wasn't morning it? yeah um, and then i think we we moved further around the lot casting down the yeah. margins and jp actually managed to fish probably a low double um we hoped that by catching about one fish, we'd actually found some fish, didn't we? Yeah, and we worked the area for ages, the area nothing. Casting, not a single yeah. fish. It was it was tough, and it it left me, uh, probably Matt as well, both thinking, "Geez, if this was the easy day, and it was this hard, what's tomorrow going to be like on mask when we're going to a much tougher venue, um, or supposedly a much tougher venue?" But there was that one little glimmer of hope, which was the weather forecast was mm. predicting a drop in air pressure. Overcast, windy, true Irish bit of conditions. showers, yeah. So mm. we were hopeful of that, that that might just play in our favour because after day one, yeah, it was it was tough. It's the most casting I've ever had to do because I I don't know how many casts I've done at that stage, but it was hours and hours of fishing before I caught my first one and to get that first Irish fish, I was absolutely buzzing and it, the size didn't matter. It was just once I'd caught one, in my head that meant you can catch more like catching one fish in any sort of fishing you do always that first fish is is mm. is the important one and then you psychologically think yeah i can i can do this and, and, it, and it made me laugh because your weapon of choice you always love that perch replicant don't you yeah. a realistic perch yeah. replicant you clip that on and yeah. i don't think it literally cranked it in yeah. any more than 10 foot always uh, always nice to catch one on your favorite <laughs> the second day even though we'd had a really tough day on the first I was really excited we knew that a few fish had come out of masks so we knew the fish were feeding yeah I and think I, that the, the day we were struggling one of JP's other guides was on mask trolling yeah. with two French customers and they'd had over a dozen yeah. fish whilst we'd struggled and yeah I think that that news coming back to us in the evening when we got back to the to the uh, accommodation fired us up a bit more didn't it give us it give us hope that we I mean these fish were caught in deep water as well weren't yeah. they and like we'd already stated the lake we'd fit or the lock we'd fish previously that was shallow yeah so even in them bright conditions the deep water was helping them to continue feeding um but to be fair the light levels were a lot worse this day weren't yeah. they the second day we were due rain on and off but ultimately it was going to be windy big big winds and this is a big big lock yeah. so we were expecting some rough conditions but yeah we'd had a couple of things as well that that second morning that happened before <laughs> we got on the water that just made us think was there some greater forces at work because yeah. um we were sat in this little foyer area in the accommodation waiting for jp to tell us to crack on and get onto the get the boat launched and matt picked up an old uh, french fishing magazine mm from five years ago, I think it was 2017, and... Uh, the first page. Yeah, literally, <laughs> weren't it? The first page, there's a, a full-page Fox Rage advert for the realistic replicant roach, and... Uh, I think we yeah. both said... 
that that's got to be a sign. It's got to be a sign that that lure is going to do us something special. Um, mm. And yeah, then then there was uh, what in that same magazine there was an, there was an article with uh, Tama, one of our old sponsored anglers mm. from Fox Rage in Holland, and just a bit random that uh, earlier that morning me and Matt had been talking about Tama because yeah. um, he was uh, we were sorting him out some of the loose bait casting reels and then to see him in in this article in the same magazine where this realistic roach advert was and it Everything was like was coming together yeah we're like is that mm. is that a sign maybe we're clutching at straws but you know it certainly fired me up for that first hour <laughs> yeah. no it's definitely well worth clipping on a realistic roach replicant wasn't it yeah but i mean for that the expectations of that day this was the big fish war so this if, if a real special fish was going to come along, this was our chance. So this was even more exciting than the first. Day two. Where yes. are we heading today, JP? On the lock mask, just in front of the, the lodge, uh, where the big ones are swimming, I hope. Fingers crossed. Yes, today that is, is all a, about it will be fish. all or nothing yeah. today. I think um, yesterday we were treated to some, un well, not very we uh, Irish unwell. weather, were we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was uh, bright conditions, no rain, but as you can see today, it's a little bit more gloomy. Yes. And I think we are forecast. Typical, some, uh, typical Irish weather. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we, Big fish weather. That's what we're I saying, so. isn't it? Uh, the wind will blow uh, in a couple of hours. We need to launch the boat now. Yeah. Mm. You heard. We need to get on the. We need to get on the lock. We need to go catch some pike. So let's go do it. Yeah. Allez, let's go. You sure? Yes. I'm leaving here, okay? Yeah, it's because you know the fire tiger yeah, is yeah. going to be the best one, <laughs> isn't it? You're like, for this lake, <laughs> this one's one no good at all. Right, what, yeah, I, what's everyone having then? Choose your weapon, what do you want, Lou? Not that one. <laughs> Go on. Right, you got, you did all right, you got fire tiger, you got the old faithful. Weapon of choice to start the day. The bright perch replicant, 23 centimetre. Plan is to start with a bit of trolling. Try and find uh, some bait fish on the echo. If we get a hit on the trolling, then we're going to stop and uh, do some casting. And uh, this is my uh, weapon of choice. Nice one, Matt. You got a special edition? Yeah, I'm just using one of the special edition, Mr. Blue. Well, it's an old, old colour. This one, isn't it, JP? I know it's been one of your favourites over the years. It's certainly been one of mine as well, but I think generally in a lot of my fishing I'd usually use like more natural colours, but I know here JP you love to use these brighter colours, it's yes. a lot to do with the water sort of colour as well, isn't it? Yeah, 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 and the look here for the white belly, yeah, really, really white on the cream, yeah. awesome, nothing good. But yeah, like Lewis said, we're going to do a little bit of trolling, it's more about locating fish as well, obviously mask is a huge expanse of water so we've got to try and find the pike yesterday was a tougher day so hopefully by doing a little bit of trolling we'll find some fish we might catch something on the way but hopefully the echo sound will show, show some spots where the fish are holding up and we'll just see what happens yes we are we'll target the school of bait fish yeah. okay in, uh, between uh, 8 and 15 meters, maybe a little bit more, okay. As soon as we saw them, you know, we cast. Yeah, yeah the yeah. pike won't be far away. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, 115 was good yesterday, it's not so. I'm quite confident. Yeah. Okay, awesome. right, let's go.
tour, you know, you yeah. can do just pure drifting on it. It's That's a it. searching tactic, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. That's what it boils down to. He's a replicant, you know, uh, we can coach also uh, Ferox huh, today. Huh? On a 23? Oh, no problem. You saw the picture yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we get, I get to 86 and 88 uh, with a replicant 23. And uh, no, it was a... Uh, a replicant perch, wasn't it? Yes, so for the 28, uh, yes, it was a replicant perch. Well, it's, uh, it's a replicant anyway. It would still, it would still hit this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish that size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah, yeah. of course, of course. On the blue shiner! On the blue shiner! Ah, yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. Read it as fast as you can, uh, Louis. I'm f***ing reeling! Okay, perfect. Sign you, stitch me up, Louis! Where are you, where's your line? Yeah, I'm up. Spring over. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Slow, slow, slow. Slowly. Up. Okay, now. Perfect. I will turn the boat. Okay, you will have more yeah, space yeah. at the front. Okay. At the front, at the front, my friend. Okay, you can go at the front. Just swiped it once and then nailed it. Okay. Here she comes. Not a particularly big fish, but oh, oh, look at that! Come on. Yeah, tire walk, flung it. That was a, a good jump. jump. <laughs> that was a big jump. <laughs> oh that? well, she wasn't a big one. No, but that's the start. Yeah, Did you get the jump. Yeah, yeah. We got the jump. That's a good sign, anyway, isn't it? Don't worry, you've still got a tail, JP. We haven't lost it. <laughs> that, was a that was making you sweat, then, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's my last one, so... Uh, huh? That's a faster retrieve, yeah? Yeah. Oh, you crossed over. Oh! oh. Up, up, up. Put your rod. Up. Put your rod down, yeah. I'm bowing to the king. <laughs> so Where's your line? Where I'm, is I'm everyone's well out line? To the right. Yours over I'm fine. there. Where's yours, JP? Can you do me a favour, Lou? Can I just get to where you are, bud? Nice one, mate. Oh, you think it's a double look up? Double hooker? Ah. Yeah. Cast out, Lou. We've got to get free. No, I'll be netsman. <laughs> Put your rod properly on the side, please. Here we go. Here he is. Way! Way! Here we are. Whoa. Put net in this one? Or? Yes, yes, fast, fast. Put the net. No, no, we've got that one. Easy. Don't worry, we've got him. We've got him. Whoa! Yeah. Right, so nice what have you got? Over. Nice jump. Nice. What are you doing? Nice, mate. Are we double nice. netting? Nice, or... well done. Double, double net, go on. We're drifting all right. Yeah, of course. And I have the remote control for the electric engine. Ah. Uh, multitasking. You have to be multitasking. <laughs> Just watch my rod tip. We should have come to the runs water yesterday. Whee! Oh, that's a nice one. Well done, JP. Whoa. Nice. Yes. Nice. Now well done, on. guys. Nice. That's well done, one. bud. JP, did that hit you when you were reeling in? Or yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's close to a meter. Yes, yeah, nice fish. Yeah, They're yeah. like peas in a pod. I think J unfo I I've got to say, I think JP's caught the bigger one. Wee! Unhooked himself. Perfect. Well done, fishy. Woo.
literally within what? Well, a minute. My yeah. rod goes round. Yes. You're winding in quick to get the lure in, and obviously you've had a hit at exactly the same time. Yes. Them fish must have been a little bit higher up in the water, mustn't they? And I we definitely so. speeded up. Yes. Yeah, we were yes, faster. Yes. And, and I was turning the boat also. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, but and there's definitely full of fish, a lot of fish yeah. there at the moment. Okay. So what, they are feeding. We're going to do some drifting. Casting? Yes, of course. Yay, that's the one. Uh, now we are back in business. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> cool. Excellent. Yes. And it's time, your time, so, Lou, now as well, mate. These, uh, two babies. Well, there you go. Perfect. Unbelievable, isn't it? I'll get in on the shot. Go <laughs> on, ju jump in there, mate. Yes. Awesome. It's nice, isn't it? You work that yeah. hard and then it all comes together in the end, doesn't it? Yes. And I think this it's is. A, it's a, that's why uh, bike fishing is all about, you know. It's. Uh, all or nothing, yeah. most of the time. Well, you look how big this place is. Yes. You've got a lot of water with no fish, and then obviously you find them, don't you? But That's why we come with me, you know? Yeah. We save time with the guy. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. <laughs> good start. That is a good start. Good start. Allez, Solid. Right. right, new trace. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. Okay, we go back. Yes. Cast, cast, cast. Uh. Like a faster speed, they properly inhaled it, didn't they? Yeah, you yeah, could yeah. tell they were like, we're not letting that get away. No, 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 no. Come to Papa. That's, I think it. that's one of the problems, I think. When you go a bit slower, they just, ooh, just swipe, don't they? That speed, it's like, that's right. I'm trolling on uh, 3.5 kilometers, 4 kilometers, yeah. and sometimes 5, 6 for a couple of uh, meters. Yeah. So done. Just in case. They do love a tail walk, don't they? Is that bait fish down there? Yes. Sir. Oh yeah. That's why I go a little bit further. Yeah, I was going to say, a lot of bait fish. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice drifting over them. Oh yeah. Especially with the last blue shiner. Oh, here they come. Look at that. That's a. That's the biggest, that's the biggest shoal we've seen, isn't it, so far? Are we letting them sink down to the bottom or...? Yes. Okay, I will stop the boat. Back towards the back, it is? Yep. Okay. It feels heavy. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Right back on that spot, wasn't it? It was right at the boat. Yeah, took it. Yeah. Okay. It feels heavy in this wick wave. There it is. Oh yes, mate. That is fish. a big fish. Put your rod down. Otherwise, you will jump down. The rod tip like this. Like that, yeah. Because otherwise, you will jump. Okay. Good fish, mate. On the other side. Come with me. Where? Here, yeah. on the road, like that. This side? Yes. It feels so heavy in this wave. Mate, it is yeah. heavy. <laughs> there he is on the top. Look, there, he's gonna... Yes, yeah, no, no. Okay. Definitely close to 120. Yeah. So. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. My legs are shaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> more pressure on it. Oh, this is epic. We will manage. Just a live commentary now. We will manage. Listen to that drag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Come on, Luke. Slowly, slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good pressure and wheel. Allez, go. And wheel. Again. And again, 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 again. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Go down. Pull in. Right, wheel. Wheel, wheel. Okay, and go. And wheel again, wheel again, wheel yeah. again. Yeah. It's so heavy. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Power. I love it. Listen to it go. It's like 
Oh, the power, JP. I, I know, I know, my friend. He's really angry. It's incredible, literally, we just drifted He's back really onto the angry. spot where we caught yes, them fish yes, yes. earlier. Again, again, and then... Again, 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 really. Not, not Bang. Not too high, not too high, not too high. Okay, perfect. <laughs> JP. Yes. Okay, really, real, real, real. Keep not too high. Ah. I like. Yeah, yeah, really. really. There is, there is. coming really, up. Really, on the side, on the side, on the side. Yes. That's a good move. Oh, 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 oh. That's a good move. Perfect. Mate, that's, that's got a back on it, bud. It's a big fish, that. The power in this chop as well to keep on. On this side, on this side, on my side, on my side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go, go. Perfect, win. Oh, yes! yes! <laughs> oh, my oh, friend! Oh, my yes, word! Yes, well yes, done! Yes, that yes. is a big fish! Mate! Woo. That is a big fish! Boom! Well yes. done, mate! Yeah. Well done! <laughs> mate! I told you! Oh. It's what we do! Oh, this is epic! It's what oh. we do! Yes! That's Lovely! <laughs> Let's have a look! <laughs> This is a massive This is fish. wicked. This is a massive one. <laughs> yeah, Lou's got, I told you, he's got an infuriating knack of it, mate. On the classic Love it. Roach. Okay, now we go over there for some pictures of everything. On the shore? Yeah, near, near the... Well, how about that for some Irish gold? 24 pounds, 117 centimetres, lock mask, jewel, on the replicant, roach. Massive thanks to JP, awesome guiding service. This is an incredible fish, fish of a lifetime, and we've still got the best part of the day still to come. It's good though to have this knowledge now ready for your Swedish customers though. Good to the fish aren't gonna move much, you wouldn't think. That's why we are Oh hit? No. Oh. Ha! Oh. Hey! It was finally me. On the slider. It was not true. That's that is interesting, they're well up in the water. Do we need that's a good fish? That's good fish? fish. Mate, that one I just had was well shallow. Yeah. I mean, I literally retrieve. Yeah, nice. You want the net, JP? Okay, 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 okay. A good salmon slider. The 16. Yeah, when I did that that one, I I didn't let it drop. I started retrieving as soon as it hit the surface. Yeah. They are very healthy. Oh, that's a good length, yeah? That's a nice fish. You want the net? No, it's okay. You want? One more type of <laughs> He'll be happy about that. Colours beautiful. Ali, 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 Amidi, Ali, Amidi. Yes. Yeah. It's a good spot at the back. It is a good spot. Good spot. <laughs> well, it's still a little bit further up where the other guys had a couple of bites, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were, they were stuck over there for at least one hour and a half, so I put a bet over there. Yeah. Could be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they're definitely, they're definitely up in the water, aren't they? Hey, it was a try. Hey. Yeah. Let's see if I can get a, a couple of others. Yeah. Why not? Oi! Right. Oi. Oi, watch it. Here we are. Right. 
perfect. A big fish or a skull fish? Skull fish. There yeah. we go. Not a monster, but you can see the conditions behind us. It's a proper wild day and fantastic fishing. So this is really demanding fishing. We're casting some of the real heavy 23 centimeter replicants. You're looking at around 160 grams for these, these lures. So because of that, we're using heavy duty gear. We, I'm currently using the Big Bait Special, teamed up with a Luz Super Duty 300, loaded up with around 60 pound braid, um, 34 kilo trace on the end. Really heavy duty fishing this, like I say, you're constantly casting. You're trying to cast as far as you can. You're fishing in deeper water. You're obviously targeting much bigger pike as well, hopefully, or as you saw, Lou had one. Lou's fishing slightly different setup. He's got a big bait spin, which is rated up to about 160 grams. He's fishing that with a Prism X 4,500 reel. And he's actually got the 60 pound uh, Predator Elite Braid on there as well. But like I say, it's just really a case of Casting and casting and casting and because of that with these size lures You're putting a lot you're putting your tackle through a lot but as you can see The weather has just started to turn a little bit. We've got a bit of rain coming through now, but it Doesn't seem to be bothering the pike. Hopefully there's a few more to come We've known JP for a long time. He's been a, sponsor, a rage sponsored angler for a good few years now. Back in 2018, um, I actually met JP for the first time at the French consumer show, uh, Clermont. Um, and we were discussing back then about a visit and fishing with him, but it's just something which has never got, which has just never happened up until now. When we spoke, this was just before COVID, and to be honest with you, there's not been a great deal of many overseas fishing trips between now and then. So this was something which we were really excited about, finally getting out there, finally seeing JP. And obviously he's always posting big pictures of, like pictures of Big Pike, isn't he? On yeah. his Instagram page. And yeah, it, what, there was a lot to be excited about. <laughs> not well, quite, that's not quite as bad as you. But, but, but that's a good yeah. sign. <laughs> it is a good sign. It's it is a, a good, good sign. sign. Okay, we will go for another drift? Yeah, let's okay. go for another drift. And then we we'll remove the, the drug. Okay. Yeah, as, as J, JP obviously knows a lot of the spots on this place and one of the things we're trying to do is, we, we know the wind direction, but if we were just to allow the boat to drift, it would be far too fast. So what we use is the drogue. Yes. It's a very simple bit of kit to use, isn't it, JP? All yeah, you need yeah, to do yeah, is yeah, throw yeah. it out and it's it corrects simple, itself. It's very simple, but so effective. Uh, it divides nearly by two uh, the speed of the yes, toys. Yes, exactly. Okay. So on this one, it's very well designed, okay? And something clever, it's floating, okay? Because uh, it could happen, the line could broke, okay? Yeah, but I mean, it sinks. And it's still, you still, it's still floating, yeah. okay? And it just creates drag have, you, and slows you, you us you down. You need one when you are uh, yeah. fishing uh, yeah. with a boat. 100%. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really need but one. But it's allowed us today to fish in strong conditions and fish at a good pace, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah, And cover yeah. the water yes. in, at a good pace. We, we won't be able to fish uh, that easy uh, with this kind of condition. Well, you can see, uh, straight, you can see straight away yeah, 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 you've yeah. brought it in oh, and we're drifting uh, Now quick. we are two kilometers and a half, maybe, maybe more, yeah. without it, you know? Okay. Anyway, to the next spot. To the next oh, spot. Oh, look at Lewis, he's found a biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> Is that good enough? Yeah.
But it's straight away. It's a pike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely something happened over there. First cast on drift. Woohoo! Big waves. Big waves coming. Big waves. Literally, it's the perfect storm at the moment. A small one in the wave. Allez. Well done, mate. Thank you. Alejandro Little one Matt's got one Okay Ah, got to Oh, he's off It's only a little one Hey Yeah, just we found a bait fish uh, Take care, big waves, big waves Woohoo uh, I will say massive for this, for this one. You know, that was a wave. Look at it! Yeah. It was not a big one, it was a massive one. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw there's quite a few more coming. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, 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 Get out there. Ali, 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 just let me get here, down here, mate. He passes supplies, JPO. Oh, lovely. Whee. And jumping one. Lovely. Right next to the boat, right in the same spot. We're There's clearly a few fish here. Clearly a few fish here, isn't there? Yeah. But yours took right next to the boat as well, didn't it, Lou? Oh, it went. Yep. Yeah, oh, yep. Excellent. Whoa. That's a nice one. So That's not. A one, huh? uh, yeah, it's nice again. It's. Uh, we're using the net. Yeah. Oi. 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 Nice. Nice dog, nice dog. There's, <laughs> oh, there's some bike here. There's a few bike in this spot. Oh, it's crazy. What action? Good. I did not have, I did not have time to cast my lure. I know, I even, <laughs> I even jumped in your spot. <laughs> JP, have you got a more, a more neutral colour? Because me and Matt are on those yeah, yeah, more yeah, neutral yeah. colours. I, I feel bad if you don't have another. You want to use this roach? No, I have many colors, okay. Okay. don't throw it. You completely swallow. Really hit it hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. You two just stay there. Don't worry about casting for a bit. Yeah. Oh. 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 Big girls had yeah. a go. Oh. Big girls out, I think. Nice fish. Nice one. Yeah. Perfect condition. Lovely. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Because They're high in the water, those. Tries. Yeah, you try something different. Sit down for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, JP, they're hot, we're getting hit high in the water. Do you think the fish are following them a long way or the fish already sat high in the water? Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I'm... I like the, when this weather, it's like that, so we know it's like that. Very active fish, aren't they? So as you can see, we've now come into a bit of quieter water. We found a nice quiet little bay. The wind's off our back now, and we've had some lunch. We're all a little bit relaxed now, as you can see. JP's having a, a nice break himself. 
Um, but yeah, we've fed and we're just kind of getting our thoughts together and thinking about what, what to do next. As we started this morning, the wind wasn't quite as strong, so it made drifting easier. Now it's really blowing up and whipping up out there. But the fish are still there, they're feeding well, and we're going to continue to fish for them. What's been working for us today has been the, 20, uh, the 23 centimeter replicant wobble. Now that's 155 grams, hence the tackle we're using, much stronger tackle. Now brighter colors seem to be working really well. Uh, the natural roach as well. So they just seem to be really in a feeding mood today. A lot of the, a lot of the hits we've had, even from these smaller fish, they've really been inhaling these baits. And then also another bait which has worked for JP has been the slider 16, which much, much larger version of the uh, Notorious slider. This bait is just an epic bait. We don't, we don't stock this one as regular stock, but we tend to bring out lots of special limited edition versions and this hot perch is uh, one of them. But we're going to go back out there in a minute. We're going to have a good look around, see if we can find some more bait fish because that's the key. We know there's a bit of rain coming in later. We're just going to go out there, see what we can find and hopefully a few more fish will come our way. At the moment we are in the washing machine, <laughs> program seven, you know, it's dry, it's a dryer. Yeah, <laughs> spin cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the spin cycle will be next. Is that if right? I yeah, if I try I to... I was going to say, we haven't even got bad yet, have we? Huh? It's not even got bad yet, has it? No, 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 no. Now, as you can see, we've left the uh, comfort of our nice little bay and we've headed back out onto the main part of the lock. The wind's really whipped up now. There's a little bit of drizzle in the air as well. But we're going just, we're going along some of the areas which uh, JP knows. We're just doing another bit of trolling. Um, obviously what happened earlier, the trolling worked really well for us. We caught a couple of fish and then went back, did some casting over that spot. And obviously Lou had his big fish and we had a few others as well. So all we're trying to do is we're keeping an eye on the echo sounder. Hopefully some prey fish will turn up on there and then we can just hopefully do a little bit of casting if the weather does actually allow it, but we'll see. Yes, we will see. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> yes. Lots of prey. Lots fish. of prey at the moment on the, on the echo. Okay. A big school of, uh, I don't know, it's perch or roach. Okay. But that's a massive one. Okay. So it's just over there. Yeah. Between the two uh, big rocks, okay, it's a kind of canal. Uh, well, it's uh, completely in the middle of the washing machine, so <laughs> it would be interesting to do. A, to not do the a, most comfortable. Place no, 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 drift, no, no. But for the, the next, the next drift will be uh, hard. But I am glad. Yeah. To when you. Oh. Yes, fish out, yes, fish out, yes, fish out. Right over the bait fish. Yeah, just. Yeah. Oh, it's on a surf surface already. Yeah, it's not a big one. No, I see it came up. It came up straight away. Yeah. <laughs> As we were talking, you know, it's uh, we are targeting the the school of bait fish and uh, straight away after. 20, 30 meters, I have passed this school of bait fish and bang, straight away. Uh, it's a replicant uh, 23, as usual, fire tiger, always. Couldn't really prove finding the bait fish works more than that, could you? Yeah, we could have a better proof. Sorry, mate. I will put the boat at the front. Yeah. Is it a net? Is it a fish with a net or? We don't know yet. Take care, big waves coming, big waves. Whoa! 
Well, it's a decent one. Is it? Yeah. It came up on the surface very quickly. Get the net ready in case. He's over there, over there, over there. Oh yeah, I see. No, it's okay. It's a decent one. He want to jump. Huh? Once again. Absolutely inhaled it. Look how fat he is. Yeah. Take care, Matt. Take care. Oi. Oi. They like to jump here. They do like to jump. There you go. Yes. Well done. Yeah, there you go. Completely swallows earlier. Look how fat it is. Yes. Nice. Proper, nice one. Thank you. From a rough conditions, but yeah. they're loving it, aren't they? Awesome. Well, clearly found some fish there. Okay. Let's start the drift. <laughs> we go with waves about one meter, maybe more, one meter twenty. Big wing, big fish, we yes. say in Ireland. Yes. Take care of this one. Woohoo! To be honest, I wasn't really bothered about any other species in Loch Mass because I knew for sure there wasn't a 60 pound carp in there um, and I was there to try and catch a big pike. So I was maybe naively, I didn't do any other research because I just thought we're going to catch pike. That's what we're there for. Uh, I think Matt was a little bit more um, in tune. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little bit more in tune mm -hmm. with what, what else he might or we might catch on mask. I think the all rounder in me Generally, if ever I go fishing on a lake with someone or on a river, I punish them about what other species are present. And I do it everywhere I go. I'm always interested in everything in the water in front of me. And obviously there was pike, um, and there was roach, bream, tench, eels, brown trout as well. And um, I think JP even said he's seen carp in there, didn't he? But I just don't think particularly large ones. I think no. he's seen some smaller commons. But uh, there was one other species in the lock, which it was just one I really, really wanted to see from back when I made my first trip to Ireland. I'd seen photos in a local tackle shop. And it was a species which, even though it was unlikely having spoke to JP there was always going to be a possibility of bumping into one if we were fishing these big replicants and obviously we're pike fishing but if this species came along I was going to be extremely pleased and after casting the 23 centimeter replicants for a period of time we did get very very lucky. Better fish? No I don't think so. No. It's a fish. Oh, it's a fucking trout. It's a fucking trout. It's a fucking trout. Give a net. Yeah, yeah, give, yeah, a yeah. net. give a net. It's a trout. Give a net. Give a net. That's a fucking. <laughs> oh my god! If I can move, get move, this, move, I'll move. be absolutely over the moon, mate. That's a fucking ferox. I told you, my friend. It's oh, a replicant. A very good for trout. Oh, it's a massive trout. Okay. It is a huge trout. Okay, take care of this one, please. Okay. I have to go. Allez. This Sam, is Sam. massive. Sam. Oh, quick. That is huge. Go. Yes! Go. Come on! Go, Come on! Go. <laughs> yes! Oh. Woo! Awesome. 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 
That is enormous. <laughs> Look at it. Boom! Bad boy. Oh, Honestly. We get the cherry on the top. Honestly, that is the cherry on the top. Woo! Oh, but I told insane. you there's a bit of magic in this, uh, in this lure. insane. Today now, that's great, isn't it? Up la. And that's it. <laughs> well done, mate. You got your lure back. Got your lure back as well, and it's got a tail. Yeah, is that the biggest ferox of the season? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Chuck it back. Right, we will see. We get a 80 uh, something. So uh, I don't remember if it was a 86 or 84. Let's see. What have you done? But hey, I anyway, done? I don't care about the size. It's just a pure beauty. It is a beautiful fish. So it is a beautiful fish. Yeah. Right. Is okay, it, we go. Uh, is it all, all right, JB? Huh? JP, is it, all, is it all right? Oh or? yes, it's all right. Wow. No, 87. 87. Trot. 87, is that the, how big is your biggest one you've caught here? Uh, 93. Oh, what? I know. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, your first one is already 87. No, my wow. friend. Look at this Let size. Me oh my, just look at it. <laughs> that is incredible. It's not every day you catch a new species of fish. JP's obviously been telling us the stories about these huge ferox, which we'll take for replicants. And as you saw, a 23 centimetre replicant absolutely inhaled by this thing. It is it's incredible. Incredible. Just have one more quick look. Well, no, let's get it. Let's get it back. I want to get yeah, it back yeah. now. Look at it. You can feel her wanting to go. Really kicking against. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, what an incredible fish. There she goes. There she goes. Come on, Come on, Woo! Lovely. Nice one, guys. Blue. So happy. Two cracking fish for the day. Incredible. And it's not over. No, oh, it's not. Oh, I can't get my head around that. But hey, after that, uh, even if we didn't get anything else, we don't give a f My man, my man. Poor, 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 poor. A new species of fish that doesn't happen very often. I know, I That's know, I thing. know. That's the thing, it's such and a special A fish capture. of this quality, you know, you saw everything, it was yeah. just perfect. I've seen, to be honest with you, we knew there was a chance, didn't we? But something yeah. like that We were talking happen. about that yesterday yeah, evening. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you, but they swallow the big replica you say they like swallow, that. When you said a trout would swallow a 23 centimeter replica, no. it was kind of like, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You have to. <laughs> and then that thing came in. Where's the replicant? But <laughs> yeah. there's no more replicant I know, inside. I know. Twelve Ooh. pounds spotty. Nice. That is done. Allez. Oh. Next time. Yeah, I still have one. Blue shirt. Oh. Fish on! Oh, fish on! Fish, fish on! on. Yeah! <laughs> uh, it's... Let me guess, it's a 90 centimetre ferox, just to really... Yeah. Good fish? I don't know yet. It's on the surface. Just want to see a meat. Oh, that, that's a nice that, pike. That's a good pike. Yeah, 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 that's a good pike. Good pike, good pike, good pike. I think I will need the net. Yeah, uh, I'm coming. That. He wants to jump, he wants to jump, he wants to jump. 
it's yeah yeah it's a nice one Matt when you are ready yeah I'm ready perfect where are you just here I will slow down the drift with the electric motor oh yeah good leg Ready? Yep. No. No, 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 no. That's a nice one, huh? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. I think it's going to surprise us. Yeah. It's an heavy one. Heavy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He wants to jump. Oh, oh, up, 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 up. oh lovely. Is he well? I thought yeah, I was yeah, yeah, say yeah. he's well hooked, but then I just saw the replicant. Ali, it's for you, my friend. Yay. Yes! Woohoo! Nice. Whoa! What a day! Oh, what, what a day! That is a serious day. <sighs> this is a Just immense. after the Ferox, a pike of a meter. I tell you what, what this has been a serious day's fishing, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it has been a and like You forget that we can barely stand up. <laughs> like the waves are We don't care. Who cares? Big wind, big cares? fish, and that's it. Keep keep fishing hard. That's why I, I am well equipped, you know? Yeah. Three. Up la. Here she go. Nice. Yes. Perfect. That's another meter fish, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, that's a meter, meter fish, yeah. yeah. You want the size or it's okay? I, or for, I think for probably, me it's okay. Yeah, I was gonna say I think we're saying what 16, 17 for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But good fish. Good fish? Good fish. And you know what? Any fish in these conditions, they go they go, they fight so hard. They fight they? so hard, yeah. Everyone yeah. wants to come jumping clean out of the water, yeah. isn't it? Ali, really the See you big mama! Lovely. Straight down. Straight to the bottom. Let's go see his friends. <laughs> uh, you're treating us to a proper day's fishing yeah. today, mate. Yeah, my, 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 ans my answer's a bit... You've got a smiley on your yeah. What's that for? How would you, are you going to give a big smile? Well, yeah. yeah. That is, as the day went on, we had quite a bit more action, granted mainly to Matt and JP, but I'm happy to get less bites but knock out the big ones. Smiley face. <laughs> and I was happy to catch the biggest ferox, which has been on the boat for a long time, as JP put it. Yeah. And JP's excitement when I hooked that ferox was far greater when you, than when you hooked your pike. Yeah. As you... Fucking trout. <laughs> it's a fucking trout. Get the net, get the net. I only thought he was excited because we were going to be eating it for dinner. I didn't really... <laughs> when... You're imagining a plate. Yeah. When he put it back, I mean, it why is. did he get excited about catching a trout? He's just oh. put it back. Oh dear. Oh. oh! Not too bad. Okay, okay. Right. Matt. Up, up. Hey! Yes! Hey! <laughs> oh! Proper inhaled it. Prey fish just turned up on the echo sounder. At all. Straight away, literally took it right next to the boat. I just saw the flash underneath the surface as it hit it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. It was literally just by the boat. Hence why we got it in so quickly. Oh. Where's the um? Lovely. Yeah, super. There you go, bud. Where's that mat? Huh? I was just gonna say, where's the mat? Cause I'll let you guys carry on fishing and I can just sit down here and just hold it for Sam quick. Behind you, under the foot. Not big. No? It's okay. Lovely fish though. I think that's probably my biggest pike of a trip. My 80, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah, it don't need to know, do we? He's just a nice fish, giving us Plenty of sport. Right, get it back over because I want to get back out again. Off she goes. 
Like, if we didn't have JP with us, yeah. we could have died. We would be dead. Yeah, we wouldn't be here now. So we'd like to thank him for yeah. our life. But no, I mean, in all honesty, we can't thank JP yeah. enough for this trip, can we? Because... Yeah, the trip wouldn't have been possible without JP. It's as simple as that. With we, his we knowledge. We, me and you, were not going to be able to go to Ireland, rock up at a 22,000-acre reservoir, no. drive about, find some pike randomly, and, and, and have the session that we did. Like the, yeah. the, the service was incredible. Everything about it from start to finish, the accommodation, the tackle that was provided, the quality of the boat, you know, the technology with the echo sounder and, and everything like that. Um, it's mm. it's invaluable. I think that you know, JP's got hundreds of waypoints saved in his GPS. You know, yeah, years on that phone. Yeah. <laughs> years and years of knowledge, and you can't you can't replicate that. And um, it's it's worth every penny, I think. And you know, I think I, I'll be brutally honest. I felt like I went to Ireland as a three out three out of ten lure angler, and I probably came back a six out of ten lure angler so you stuck at it mate yeah, do you know so. what you carried on casting and that's all about lure fishing not giving up because you just don't know if you don't get that many opportunities but when you get them you need to be on the ball you need to be able to set that hook you need to be able to play that fish so no fair play mate it was uh we certainly never gave up during any of their moments and to be fair jp's knowledge kept us going yeah, yeah he's um, a very very great guy positive person mm. and uh yeah Cannot speak highly enough of him. But no, I mean, obviously JP was a great, he was a great guide. He's, he's a massive asset to the Fox Rage angling team. He's a great guy. He, he's a great pike angler. And it's not, it's not all the time, not every day you get to go out and actually use them big baits. You're casting bigger baits. I mean, a lot of the time we'll fish a lot of walks around our way. They're quite shallow. So maybe an 18 centimetre lure is generally yeah. the sort of size you're using. I mean, we were, Casting 23 centimetre reps all day on the well, second I'd day. I'd be using dead baits normally, not casting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I must admit, it was good that you resisted <laughs> this trip. But no, I mean it was fantastic. It was fantastic, and JP's knowledge obviously helped us with uh, the two really fa fantastic fish we caught. Nice restaurants as well in the local towns that we went yeah. to. Food was really nice when we when we went out, and uh, yeah, it's just a great experience, and uh, definitely something that. Uh, I want to repeat, go back for a few yeah. more, few a few more days for sure. Yeah, it won't be the last time we go up here, will it? And I think another thing to bear in mind is Mask, like I said earlier, has a lot of very small islands. Now, most of these are very obvious, but quite a few of them are just under the surface of the water, aren't they? And it's a huge, it's a huge lock. You're going along on a boat at quite high speeds at times. Obviously, having someone who knows them that well is paramount, just yeah. for your safety. I mean, we were coming back and we were looking on the echo sounder as JP, JP was slowing right down. And you're thinking, why are we slowing down so much? You're looking on the echo, all of a sudden we're in two foot of water yeah, or something. massive shallow plateaus um, and stuff. If the know. water level was a little bit down or depending on what the water level's doing, you could be in real trouble. And obviously, JP knows the waterways that well. It's, you need that knowledge. Well, it's not got any calmer out there, is it? No, it was rough. Wild, yeah, wet yeah. and wild. Yeah. yeah, you can hear the waves probably lapping up in the, on the shoreline behind us and uh, the winds howling, but. What a great two days fishing though. Thanks to one man really, isn't it? Thanks a lot. Thanks great a lot. service. Epic, absolutely epic, blown it away. Big day, yeah. 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 Big day. And you've got to, you've actually been able to do some fishing yourself, haven't you, for once? Yes, yeah. yes, I'm quite happy. Uh, it's it's been good. great fishing with you. Yeah, we get a good day on but, the piquant. Uh, good day uh, biking, we get uh, a bonus fish, uh, which was uh, incredible. Don't, yeah, so, for us, it's incredible, the understatement. Cherry, the cherry on the top. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but we have fight hard also to find the fish. Uh, yeah. Yes. It was not easy. Conditions were tough, but as we, as we say in Ireland, you know, big wing, big fish. And we yeah. get our reward. I don't yeah. know how many casts we had to make yesterday, but it just goes to show. Yes. You have to put them casts in yeah, to get the results in at the end. Never give up. Never give up. No. Never stop casting. Only takes one bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And after and that, this is it. One yeah. big yeah. pike, one big ferox, and some backup fish. I think we had about 12 fish on the boat yeah. today, haven't we? So, one See. thing left to do now shower, 
yeah. go to the pub and celebrate with yeah, a nice, 100%. nice, nice agree with you. pub cooked food. Yeah, and a Guinness. I haven't had a Guinness yet. <laughs> yeah, me so, yeah. yeah, maybe two. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, it was a pleasure to have you both. Oh, it's been great, it's mate. It's been great. Yeah, thank you. Nice one, bud. Let's get to the pub. Let's go to the pub. Me water taking me high, taking me down. 